Hey YouTube, how are you doing today? Steve here from Downshift Bikes. Uh, today we're gonna talk about Bosch and the Urban Aero family and what we've got going on here today is we have the Bosch Intuvia um, computer that's attached to this bike, you can see it right here. And we're gonna actually switch that from the sort of stock Intuvia computer to the new Bosch smartphone hub. Um, and we'll go into more details about what the smartphone hub can do once we install it and you can see how that goes. Uh, but this is a pretty complex task. We actually have to remove the computer from the bike and then we actually have to go down inside um, the drive unit and replace some of the cabling here. And so this is a, something that you'd wanna take it to your shop in order to get service before you crack this open on your own. Uh, so let's jump right in. All right, so you've got the smartphone hub installed here. We had to snake that cable down through the head tube, down past the battery, and then connect it inside the motor unit. Did that without any problem. It was actually easier than I thought. There's a little power button here on the right side of the unit that will actually turn the motor on. Uh, and what's cool is it gives you a display uh, that you don't need your phone for, but if your phone was within range, you can see the little icon there um, that it's saying that the phone mode is uh, gonna be active. And so I'm gonna take this USB-C plug and plug it in and then spread this guy apart to drop my smartphone in um, and then what that will let me do is then launch the Kobe app and the Kobe app is what actually goes and connects to the bike which is pretty cool so it's a Bluetooth controller um, and then this will actually charge the bike or the phone while you're riding which is pretty neat so from the main screen you can actually cycle through different modes of the app and so you have a, a contacts favorites list which you can make calls from um, you have your sort of ride stats, so if you have sensors like a power meter or a cadence meter or a, a heart rate monitor, it can give you those stats as well. Um, music you can control from the phone as well, so if you dive into this, it'll, it'll resort to your standard music player. Um, and if you have Spotify, it will work with that too. Uh, the other neat part of this is you actually have a mapping feature, which is pretty darn cool. It'll show you where you are on the map, um, as well as the ability to like zoom in and out and pan through the map, which is pretty darn neat too. Um, you can also upload all these data to Strava. And so as you ride, um, it will tell you, you know, your, your total distance, total miles, power output, those sorts of things. And those will be synced to Strava um, for keeping track of your workout, which is also awesome. If you park the bike uh, and then walk away from it, the app will actually tell you the location that you left the bike at and then how far away from the bike you are uh, as well. So it's sort of like a built-in parking assistant. Um, and then if we go back to uh, the main screen here where we can flip through the different modes here with, um, and going from uh, contacts to power to music to navigation, um, you can sort of see the main screen has control of the lights. It has battery remaining as well as range for the level of mode that you're in. So like Eco, it's saying we have 24 miles of range left. We have battery left of the phone plus time. We can jump in here. We can turn charging off if we'd like. We can turn speaking off or on off. if we'd like, which is pretty Eco. neat. And we can turn lights on or off here too. And it also gives you the weather along your ride. So within 120 minutes or two hours from now, uh, it'll say, well, it's gonna rain. So, you know, you may wanna consider going home or parking the bike or, you know, getting off the, getting out of the way of the weather. Um, other cool stuff about this is that you don't have to use it with the phone. So like, if you are the only one that actually has a smartphone or if you decide you're not gonna use it with the phone, you can actually remove this from the, um, the bike. Ride you can ended. tap and hold to end your ride. You can just quit the app and if we go here, um, you can see that when I start this back up, it's just going to say that the bike's ready to go and we can jump into Eco or Turbo or Tour. Um, it does see that my phone is available. See the little icon there saying that I can use Bluetooth with the app and it'll connect to it, but you're not required to use it. So if somebody doesn't have a smartphone with the app installed, they can ride the bike without having to plug it in, which is pretty darn cool. Bosch also includes three cables. With this um, smartphone hub, they have a USB-C cable, they have an iPhone lightning cable, and they also have a micro USB cable. So it should be compatible with every smartphone on the market. They also make dedicated phone mounts. And so this is the universal sort of spring clip. But if you have an iPhone, uh, I believe all the current iPhones can just sort of snap into this with a case that's built in and then just snap off 
which is a nice feature to have. The spring can get in the way of like your power buttons and stuff. Um, so you just have to be sure that your phone uh, fits in there nice before you invest the money in this upgrade. Um, but overall, it's pretty cool. You know, I like the fact that I can see the maps. I like the fact that um, it works with and without the phone. And I like that I can like listen to music or to answer and receive calls or I can plot a route and follow the route. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's Bosch's new sort of feature as far as they're trying to push a lot more what's called connected riding. And so they want people to use their devices and to sync their rides with their devices. And so look for more of this stuff from the people at Bosch here in the future. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this little review here of the Bosch smartphone hub for their electric assist bicycles. Uh, check out everything else we have on YouTube. Thanks.